be embraced by many things. That we need to be embraced by God, but we can only be embraced by Him if we are embraced by His Word. Amen. We talked this morning a lot about this. Some of you guys were here. You are in the embrace of what or who. Something or somebody is embracing you right now. And you are walking in that embrace. And that is... Ooh, question. We're talking about the armor of God. Amen. And we said... Kingdom principles, yes. Preach the kingdom is near. The kingdom is the, the reign of God, the reign of the king, the authority of the king is near you. The one that has the final say is near you. Can you see that? Can you allow that to lay down your final say, your lordship and your authority? And surrender to him. Yes, give your life to Christ. Give every area after that also more and more over to him. So the kingdom near is kingdom in. Amen. His final say is not near me. His final say is in me. His kingdom is in. Amen. As I received him. And then with kingdom in, what are we talking about? Seeking. Kingdom is near, then kingdom is in, and then we seek his kingdom. Amen. Because I seek his final say in every situation. Wherever you want to go, wherever you're going, in your school, at university, there where you work, you want God's final say to rule. You want His final say in that situation. So you seek His kingdom. It's not just seeking His kingdom to come inside. You have His kingdom inside. His kingdom is inside of you when you receive Christ. Amen. But then in every area of your life, you seek it. And then for every circumstance and every place where you go, you want His kingdom, His final say to be seen. You want, you, you want your dad to speak. You want your hero, the King of Kings. To have his say. And he will have it. But you want to have the, the privilege that he can do it with you and through you. In that situation. Amen. Amen. Because you have this kingdom mindset. And they're not just seeking the kingdom there where you go, but entering the kingdom. That means I enter into that rule, into that reign. That wherever you go, there goes authority. When you come into a place, just devils has, they have to flee. Hello. You come into a place, there's just the presence of authority. It's because you've entered the kingdom in such a way. It's not just the kingdom seed in you. Hello. It's not just his final say with you, in you. You're seeking it in every situation. You hunger for it and you bring it forth in every situation. And it's so part of your life now that it becomes a lifestyle that where you go, there's the presence of authority. And it's not you because you... You entered a selfless life. Amen? It's all about Him. All about Him. You seek Him. You seek Him and His righteousness. The rest will follow. You, whatever you need, will follow. You seek Him and His righteousness. His righteousness. More and more and more. And you come into the place that you have entered the kingdom. As an inheritance. Amen? We're talking about stature. We're talking about kingdom principles. And from that background, we're talking about the armor of God. We also said then, just a few key points for us to remember the whole principle of you need to be a child, you need to think like a child, not being childish, but the attitude of a child of dependency, of genuineness, amen, that we need to have so that we can lay down and we follow him as the king. That little child, he wants his hero and he will do everything, even manifest. To get his hero, it doesn't matter what and who is around him. He wants to be with his hero. Finished. Hello. With that mentality, that we will see the kingdom, that we will enter the kingdom as a child. That he will raise us up as sons of God, in the Son of God. Amen. So as a child, we said, first one that we will remember. Deep revelation. O kop, skabi, o kop. I don't know if you've seen that in the word. Keep head. Sheep, keep head. What? I just said, what? Hang in there, sheep. Hang in. What are we talking about? 
Helmet of salvation. What are we talking about? O corpse copy. You are just watching the shepherd. You don't go and fight your the bears and the bears and the and the lions and all the wolves and all the things. That's a very foolish sheep. Helmet of salvation. Just keep with the shepherd. The shepherd will fight. The battle belongs to the Lord. It was never the sheep that stood there with the lion. You know, it was David the shepherd. Amen. The shepherd lay down his life for the sheep. Amen. Second one was? Chloe Mosi Chloe. Believe, sparrow, believe. Something like that. Hey. And that was the? Oh, come on, man. Van jullie was nog nooit hier geweest. The shield of faith. Yes. Now Mosi stress clinic. Hey? In the night. Why? Because they believe. Why you, little of faith? Why will we? Come on. Believe. Believe God has the best for you. By faith you overcome the world. Amen. Amen. The shield of faith. The third one we said was? Vlieg vrij, volkie vlieg vrij. Something like that. Okay. In freedom. Why? With a belt of truth. So that you can go in freedom. Truth that set you free. Amen. To move wherever you need to move. Amen. Then the fourth one. So eagle saw, because there's accuracy in the spirit, there's accuracy knowing the dimensions of how to deal with it. The sword of the spirit, amen. Sword of the spirit, basically the word and the spirit, there's dynamic between the two, amen. Fourth, fifth one was, blom, blomiki, blom. Flower, daisy, flower, blossom, daisy, blossom. It presents who he is, the breastplate of righteousness. I'm a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. Oak of righteousness. Amen. Yes. For the display of his splendor. Hallelujah. Yes. Number six. Praat, Papa Gaiki, Praat. Um, yes. Preach, Parrot, preach. Just say what the word says. Parrot, making your own noises, it is irritating. It is a lot of wara, wara, wara. If the parrot just go on. So is the parrot thinking he has his own ideas and his own whatever. But if the parrot can just say what he is taught. To say hello. Be the parrot and speak the word. Not just one sentence. Get to know the word so that you're not this irritating Christian wherever you go. Just with one scripture because you have no faith. Get into the word so there's this richness of vocabulary, vocabulary and language so that you can spray, express the depth of the riches of the glory and the knowledge of God. Amen. 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 And so bottom line with prayer is about my house, his home. My house, my house, my house, his home, his home. <laughs> are you with me or are you not with me? Yeah. I'm talking to the sound. <laughs> okay, so what are we saying? House of prayer on earth as it is in heaven. heaven so that it will become God's home. Our house must become his home. Amen. Ons vorderal. Good. Then we said. <laughs> then we said. Bottom line. <laughs> the word is the basis for. Life. Maybe. The word is the basis for of authority. For any form of authority. If we're talking about kingdom principles. Everything will fall except heaven and earth will be shaken, but the word will stand. Everything will end, but the word will be there. In the beginning was the and the word was with God, and the word was God. Blessed is he who keep the words of the prophecy of this book up to the end. Amen. Everything the word. Will God judge? No, the word will judge us. Hello? We will not live by bread, but from every word that proceeded from his mouth. Amen. So in that essence, it's not just the sword of the spirit is the word, and the rest is something else. The sword of the spirit is one facet in the armor. But everything in the armor is based on the word. Amen. The first one we said was... Helmet of salvation. Everybody just put your Bible there. The mind of Christ must take over. 
Just say that. The mind of Christ must take over. Okay, so is the renewing of the mind, the capturing of the thought patterns, the breaking down of all the mindsets, etc., etc., that we spoke about a lot. Praying in tongues it's for your mind to shut up. Amen. All the things, etc., etc. We've dealt with that. Amen. Amen. Helmet of salvation in here. Second one was shield of faith. I have a proof. Akidi. I have the proof. With the shield of faith, I stand against. I say, I have the proof. This belongs to God. This land belongs to God. This city belongs to God. Sorry, Satan, you need to go. That's all I need to show to the enemy. Whatever he wants to do in this city, in my life, in my marriage, with my children, with whoever, I have the proof, the shield of faith. Faith comes from hearing. Hearing comes from the? Oh, so the basis of shield of faith is? The word. Amen. We stand with the word. Third one was? Belt of truth. You will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. free. The truth. So I run. If you don't have this truth, don't run. Stand. Because you're going to damage somebody or yourself. Hello? But when you have the belt of truth around you, and you then you run with freedom. Otherwise, you run with bondage and curse. But run with freedom and blessing with the belt of truth around you. Amen. Amen. We're with one another. Yes. Next one is? Soul of the Spirit. Okay. If you want to go and pioneer anything, only with the sword of the Spirit. Sword of the? Spirit. Not your sword. Amen. The Word of God. So is the Word, just use this Word under your own guidance and under any other spirit, you will kill people. You will destroy people. You will throw that what is not from God. This will kill. But only under His guidance. You don't touch the Word unless He's hand is on you the spirit's hand because it's his sword sword of the spirit amen. amen the word of god how you will pioneer and go and do great exploits for god and take the land for god amen, amen. the next one is breastplate of righteousness we say the planting of the lord so we say display the word display the word amen it's his glory and his glory is only on his son and where his son is seen the living word amen his character must shine and it will not be your glory and he will not share his glory with your glory you have no glory your glory must die where's your glory then only in him when you are found in him and he is seen through you there is the glory where you share and partake amen, amen. next one is Feet of the readiness of the good gospel of peace. Shoes. I speak. I speak the gospel. Amen. You speak what he says. And that's only. Further, keep quiet. Too much we say whatever we want. When we are fed up or whatever. And we give a message. And the world out there hears a Bible that is freaky. Because Monday the Bible says like something like this. On Thursday the Bible says that. Friday, there's some freaky statement from the Bible. And Sunday, the Bible looks so holy. And we're talking about me and your life, you know? We as the Bible to the people out there. God have mercy on us. Amen? And then lastly, blueprints. To build the house. May our house be His home. Here's the blueprints. The architect gave it. Practically how we will build, what we will build, in what way we will build. Amen. Everything in the armor of God is based on the word. And what is not based on the word in your mind is not going to work. Because at the end of the day, it must all come back to the word as basis. Amen. Okay, this is what we've done and talked about. And we talked about helmet of salvation for an hour. And we've talked about... Still the faith for an hour. If you were not here, get the teaching, please. It will be great if you can put it in your life as foundations. So today we are at the belt of truth. Praise the Lord. Cliff said, it's good if we all are together. Amen. With When we minister together. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let me go away. John 8. John 8, verse 32. 
Those, that verse that everybody knows. And you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Freedom and captivity has the picture of what? Your movement is withheld from you. The way that you can move is not... You are limited in your movement. Thank you. In how you, that you move. If you are in jail, it's all about you cannot move wherever you want to. You can think what you want. You can organize what you want. But you cannot get out of there and move wherever you want to. There's something in freedom of, like the bird, like the eagle. There's something of freedom of out of the cage. Captivity, like in the cage. Somewhere, there's this linking is with this word, there's a freedom for me to move. Hello? The word without the spirit is a law. And I'm in that bondage. And my flesh must be in bondage. But so that I understand from my spirit man how to live in this freedom where the truth sets me free. Amen. 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 So with this belt of truth, I am putting this belt of freedom on. Amen. Amen. Truth will set me free. So that with this freedom that I have around me, I can run. I can move. I can go in the freedom that the Word gives me. And I will go only where the Word gives me the freedom to go. Amen. Then I have the belt of truth around me. A belt surrounds you, as far as I know. Kijk niet gewoon. Hij is recht rond om ne. My question is, what is surrounding you? What belt are you allowing someone or yourself that you put on for yourself? What is coming so close to you like a belt? Is it the fear in your life? Is it shame? Is it hurts? And you keep it close to you. That what touches you. Hello? You are surrounded by your circumstances, by your image, by your opinion, by what you think or not think, how you see life and how you don't see life. And that is your belt of opinions, your belt of facts, the facts of life. How you can reason things. But that's your belt. It's not given by him. As his armor that he gave you. But the belt that you will put around your waist. That will be surround, you will be surrounded by that belt. Is what? It's only his truth. It's only his word. It's only what he says. That's it. That's it. And that's it alone. What will touch you? This belt. From all sides, what will touch you the most is truth. They say that truth will touch me the most. Nothing else is going to touch you. Between the facts and you, there's truth. Amen. And you will move only with this truth. Nothing else. You'll, that flesh, that temptation is not going to touch you. Because this truth has set me free. I walk by truth. I'm in the truth. If you are in the truth, the truth is around you. True. The rusk in the coffee. The coffee is around the rusk. Hallelujah. Okay. So, you are in truth. You are surrounded by truth. Amen. But you must put yourself in that place and you decide what people with what kind of spirit come close to you. That can become touchy with you. Eh? Who is getting touchy with you? You're getting itchy with this person's getting touchy with you. Hello. May his word touch you more than anything else. Because when you are so getting used to the word of God that touches you all around, all around, you can suddenly understand when somebody coming close to you, you feel like just like, no, no, no this, is not, this is not from God. You start to distinguish this is bondage. This is not from Him. This is not from Him. Hello? Because you are used to the touch from the Master. You are used to the touch of truth. You are used to the touch of His will and His authority and what that what He says. 